Hi everybody, my name is Jane Detweiler. I am a band director at Wyoming High School and Junior High School, and uh, this is the first uh, recording for real band directing and so I'm hoping that this is a really helpful YouTube channel for you that can just really talk about the hard parts of band directing and also the wonderful parts but um, I know many of you are out in a small town community where you're the really only one that understands what you do and I have background in both rural and private school public school and urban settings and so I know there's challenges everywhere you go and hopefully the idea of this broadcast will be to make sure that you know somebody out there really does get what you're doing and on those hard days when you don't feel like anybody gets it um, at least you'll have one space where you can go and uh, be encouraged and get back on the horse the next day because I know sometimes it's really hard to get up and to do those things again and again um, you have so much joy when you start uh, and you want to be a teacher and you want to be a music teacher and it's just really exciting but then boy that can wear off the moment a parent calls and with a nasty tone of voice or uh, whatever is going on in your world and so I've gone through a lot of things over the years uh, in 23 year, years of teaching and I would love to just share some of those things that have helped me and I hope that it's of help to you so uh, just a couple things before we get started. Um, first, real band directing. Um, in this channel, none of the opinions here are a reflection of Wyoming Public Schools or Lakewood Public Schools or anything like that um, where I've been teaching. Um, they don't represent any positions from Wyoming or anything like that. Um, all content left here is just strictly my opinion, so it's not the be-all, end-all. This is uh, one person's opinion. Um, I have experienced a, a fair amount of success in terms of Michigan band directing and uh, with Michigan School Band and Orchestra Association, so hopefully you can take a lot of these ideas and run with them and they'll be successful for you, but um, it's just my opinion, so you know definitely make your own decisions on that and then finally um, there's a lot of things that go on in band directing that can be really discouraging and so I just want to encourage you that this is not meant as a replacement for therapy or anything if you're feeling like um, you're having some some uh, depression or um, anxiety or anything like that please make sure that you seek some mental health professionals uh, I do have my master's in counseling education counseling psychology so I think um, I want you to hear that I am bringing that perspective as well, but um, this is by no means meant to replace that, so just a reminder on that. So let's talk about today. Uh, boy, you know, I had a long day, didn't you? Um, I started my day getting to school about 20 after 6. We had jazz band, zero hour, and then we had first hour. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a little bit of a break, but I know a lot of you guys don't in the, in the morning time. And then, of course, all those junior high bands, too. Some of you are lucky enough to be at one school, but a lot of us, I know, we travel. So, um, And we had snow today in Michigan, so that was exciting, too. But, uh, boy, after school, we met for another hour with kids that wanted to stay and I was so happy that, that we had kids that wanted to stay and practice but man that makes for a long day right and uh, hair can be a little crazy after that and then of course dropping your kids off at different places or picking them up at different places my son had basketball and youth group and all kinds of things going on so um, I know how challenging that is and Boy, when you get home, and you get home at 6 or 7 or 8 o'clock at night, the last thing you want to do is lesson plans, right? And um, all you just want to do is take a nap, right? And um, that's understandable because you've worked really, really hard today. And um, so it's important that you take some time off. It's important that you um, sit down and watch the news if you want to do that or take a nap. Feel free to take a nap. Um, it's okay if you need to put something in the uh, oven, you know, that was frozen <laughs> because that's all of the energy that you have left. Um, it's okay for you to go and um, watch a, a TV show. You don't need to feel guilty because you're watching a TV show instead of doing grades or doing email. Um, it's really good actually to put boundaries around your email and all of the work stuff. Um, Technology allows us to work 24 hours a day, but if you work 24 hours a day, you will totally burn out very, very quickly. And you might 
not have your family liking you very much. So it's really, really important to put some boundaries around that, whether that's going to school early so you can work early. Some of you have that uh, going for you and you don't mind the early hours. Some of you, it's better to stay till five o'clock. Um, I've had different seasons, honestly, in my life where it's great to stay later or it's great to get home earlier and then work after my kids are in bed. So it kind of just depends where you're at and what you feel good about. But um, what I want to say is you don't have to be stuck doing a certain thing. You don't have to stay at school till you have all of your work done every day because that's never going to happen, let's face it. You will always have more work. You'll always have more people saying they need things than you have time in the day. And so make a list and do your best to check some things off every day and just take a breath and breathe. But when you get home, you get to decide, I'm gonna work today or I'm not gonna work today and there's no guilt here. So just understand that um, you work really hard and I appreciate everything you're doing and those kids that you're impacting each day are gonna appreciate it when you are able to go to bed at 10 or 11 o'clock rather than 12 or 1 o'clock. You're gonna have more energy, you're gonna be able to do more things with them the next day. So um, just take a breath and know that you're doing great things, okay? Um, before I go, I want you to remember one thing that happened today that you loved. Um, I'm gonna tell you a couple of things from my day. Um, I act super crazy when I play music for my students. And so today, when the kids were coming in, I had um, the Maslenko Symphony No. 4 playing, and there was a really crazy uh, double-tonguing section of the trumpets playing. And so, of course, that made me want to play work in a fanfare, right? And so I played that for the kids, and um, they were super excited. Remember, your kids will get excited about whatever you're really excited about. So if you're like, oh, I can't believe that. You know what that is? That's double tonguing, okay? And then I was like, would you like to learn that? And so we, on improv, just went over to the board and did a, a quick double tonguing section. So <laughs> super cheesy and nerdy, right? But I was super, I was having so much fun because, you know, those kids were interested and excited about it. Now, beginning band, not so much always, but um, beginning band, um, I teach in a, in a very urban uh, district where there's some kids that they've never learned how to be formal in the past. And so um, in this setting, they have to learn how to be formal. And um, it just takes a really long time sometimes with our beginners. Now, once they've gone through beginning band, then they generally know how to do it. Um, but we're still kind of in the process and they're growing every day. But boy, it's challenging, you know? And there are some kids that really um, will interrupt still and those kinds of things can get under your skin, man. And you just wanna say, squash that, right? <laughs> squash that and be like, ah, you know, you can't do that, get out of here, whatever. And um, what I have to keep coming back to is this idea that, you know, you just can't give up. You can't, um, you can't have that last idea. You just have to always keep coming back to the drawing board and saying, you know what, this worked or that worked or another thing worked. Um, and so today I felt like I had a win with the beginners and, and it was this. I just on improv, I said to my students, all right, so someone answered a question well or they uh, did something that I wanted them to do, like maybe they demonstrated something, maybe they demonstrated legato style or something like that, and they did a good job of it, or maybe they played the mini scale for the class, right, their first five notes up and down. Well, then I told one of the students, put that student's name on the list. So uh, let's say, for example, Sarah, let's put Sarah's name on the list. And then pretty soon I asked another question and somebody answered it, well, put this person's name on the list. And then what I did was, once the list 
was um, once I had a number of kids' names on the list, I let them play a, a, a pass-off test. So that was pretty fun because um, only the kids whose names were on the list could do a pass-off test. Now, you know your kids, and so you can give those kids that work really hard but are kind of quiet, you can just give them opportunities to answer questions by asking them directly, and then they can be on that list. So um, that's an idea that we use today, and it worked really well. Now, I don't know if it'll work the rest of the year or if that was just a one timer but time will tell right but don't ever give up you have all kinds of creative ideas in your brain now it might be so tired that you can't even stop and think of any of these but um, at some point you'll have a little extra energy maybe you'll eat a piece of chocolate and then you'll just but let yourself breathe and take some time and just come up with another idea and um, just never ever stop coming up with ideas because the moment you give up is the moment that you've given up your opportunity to have a wonderful career and a wonderful experience teaching music and that's why you went into it. So um, spend some time today thinking about some of the good things that happened in your life. Spend some time listening to at least one song, uh, one piece of music that just really inspires you. For me, it was the Maslenka 3 and Gavorkna Fanfare. It might be something different for you, but spend a minute or two just in a chair at your house before you go to bed and just listen to that. And uh, don't do anything else. Don't do grading in the background or anything like that. Just take your time and for one or two minutes, sit in a chair and listen to the Maslenka. Listen to whatever turns you on if it's if it's uh the Tikali, if it's um you know something Richard Saucedo wrote that you really love just listen and be a musician again and um even if you can find a little tiny spark that can give you the energy to come up with one more idea all right I hope that you enjoyed this hopefully we'll come back to you soon take care